this video, I'll give you a brief demonstration on using the new Frontify plugin for Adobe XD. By the end, you'll know how to access your brand assets from Frontify directly in Adobe XD, which we hope will have a significant impact on the efficiency of your design workflow. So let's get started. Adobe recently released their plugin panel for XD, and that's where you'll find the new Frontify plugin. You can access it just here next to the layer panel and assets panel in the bottom left. And you'll see that I already have the Frontify plugin installed, but if you don't, no worries, just click on the plus up here in the top right, search for Frontify, and you'll be able to install that here. So let's enter the plugin. And the first thing we see is a sign-in form. And all you need to enter is the domain of a Frontify instance. Hit get, get started. And it's gonna open a window in your browser Select Allow Access. That'll redirect you to a sign-in form, and you should enter your credentials there. Once you've done that, just return to XD and hit Ready. And once you're logged in, you're presented with your available brands. So I'll select a brand here. And we land directly on the Colors tab. Um, this is a guideline, and you see there's no color palettes found for that guideline, so I can change that here with the drop-down. Select Brand Portal. And we see all of the brand colors for this, uh, this guideline. To apply a color, you can select either a text or a shape layer. Let's select this here. Hover over the color you want to apply. You can click F for fill and B for border. And you'll notice that the border hasn't been visually applied, but that's because over here in appearance, the border setting is off. So let's turn that on and increase the size so you can see you see it was indeed added to the shape. If you'd like to make use of Adobe's um, native assets panel, you can import these colors to there, um, either one palette at a time, like so. You see they're available in the assets panel, or scroll down to the bottom and hit import all. And you'll see that all of those colors are now available in the native assets panel. Now onto the textiles. So we'll go back to the plugin and go to the second tab with the T mark. And that's our textiles. Similarly to the colors, I can import these uh, either one block at a time to the native assets panel or import them all. And you see they're now available here. To apply a textile, let's go back to the plugin. I select a text layer and hit one of these colors here. These are the colors that you defined for this textile on uh, Frontify within a guideline. So I'll choose the white one here. Perfect. Very simple stuff. Moving on to icons. If you have a icon library set up on Frontify, then you can access those icons here. I can search for an icon. And what we're showing here is just the SVGs. So if you have other formats or um, color variants set up, you won't be able to get them here. But for the SVGs, all I do is click copies it to the clipboard. And now I can paste it onto the canvas and make use of it in my design. So let's place that here. Delete this arrow. And we can even go back to the colors and apply the appropriate fill. Next, we'll add some images uh, from a media library. So on this fourth tab here, as with the other assets, I can select the source. If I have multiple media libraries. And search as with the icons. Perfect. So to apply an image, all I need to do is select either an image or a shape layer. And Simply click. So I can click through and see what suits the situation. And this should really help if you're working a lot with uh, images such as static site development. Perfect. One thing worth noting is that the um, image will be downloaded at the minimum resolution for the shape that you've selected. So you see here a 100% zoom. This image is perfectly crisp. But as I start to scale up, that image will notice the resolution is not 
suitable anymore. And it's easily resolved. With the layer selected, just click the image again. And now we have the correct resolution for that size. Finally, in regards to brand assets, you can go to the logo library tab and access your logo library if you have one set up on Frontify. Let's say I want to change this very dark little text logo here. I can click the desired logo and that's copied to the clipboard. I can paste it and drag it into place. Let's get rid of this old one. Perfect. Um, it's worth noting that if you have your logos in a JPEG or PNG format, they will actually behave more like the images from the media library. So you'll need to select a, a layer and click. They, on click, they'll be applied as a fill. In line with Frontify's goal of providing a single source of truth for your brand, any changes made on the guideline are reflected almost instantly within the plugin. So I'll just demonstrate that now. I'll go to the guideline. And let's make a dramatic change. Bright red. Go back to XD. I just need to refresh the plugin. So I can do that by Command Shift R. And go to colors. And you'll see that the color here, Logan, has changed. All that's left is the settings area. It's up here, the cog on the top right. And it's quite self-explanatory, just two options. You can log out or switch brand. Yeah. So I hope that's been helpful. If you have any difficulties, you can reach out to our support team. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.